Hello and welcome to Billy's Craft Room. In today's film, I'm going to show you how to make a selection of tags like these. Having handmade a card, it's nice to be able to coordinate papers and stamps for the gift tag as well. For this project, you will need a bone folder, a pencil, some scissors, a corner rounder, a hole punch. I'm going to be using baker's twine, but you could also use decorative yarns or fibres or ribbon. You'll need some A4 cardstock, a gritty cutting mat. I use a score it board, but if you don't have one of those, you could also use an embossing tool and a steel ruler. Take your piece of A4 cardstock and cut it at 4 and 1 8 inch in this direction. You will get two strips with a small amount of off cut. In the other direction, cut it at 2 and 1 quarter inch intervals. You will get 10 tag shapes from a single piece of A4 card. The most basic tag you could design would be literally leaving your card just as it is, but that wouldn't be much fun, so let's try some more designs. Take your cardstock and place it onto the gridded cutting mat. This one has 1cm squares marked on it. Line your card up along two sides and mark diagonally across one of the centimetre squares. Move the tag across, line up again and repeat on this side. Trim back to your marks using the scissors. You'll recognise this shape as the luggage tag. You can now make luggage tags in your favourite cardstocks. For the next design, take another base tag, place it onto the cutting mat, and this time mark over 2cm squares and 2 down and mark that diagonal. Move the tag across and lining up the sides, mark the same on this side. Once again, trim back to your marks. For a different design. Taking the designs you just made, use a corner rounder and the quarter inch diameter curve and clip off the bottom two corners of your tags. This gives a softer effect and a really professional look. You can also do this on the other tag. I'm going to take the corner rounder and a couple of base tags. Make sure you're on the quarter inch curve and simply cut the bottom two edges of the tag. For this one, I'm going to clip off all the corners. This makes a nice tag, but it would also be useful as a mat for a card design or a scrapbook too. For the last two tags, 
I've taken a couple of base tags and I've pre-scored these using a scoring board. But if you don't have one, if you take a steel ruler and an embossing tool, find the centre of your tag and simply score down the centre line. I'm going to repeat that on this second tag. For a neater finish, fold the card in half and reinforce the fold using a bone folder. This makes a smaller tag, which is perfect for smaller projects. I'm going to do the same with this second tag, folding in half and reinforcing the fold. This time I'm going to bring back in the corner rounder. I'm going to round the two open corners. So this one and this one. It will go through two layers of cardstock unless your cardstock is very very thick. I hope you've enjoyed today's film. This one has been about creating a selection of tags which you can decorate with your own designs. I hope you'll join me in part two where I'll be showing you a selection of toppings you might like to try with these tags. If you have any questions do leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. For more inspiration, please visit the blog on www.billyscraftroom.co.uk.